I'd like to give a brief industry perspective of the current status industry is in so that the interaction can have a little more meaning. We are today in a situation where worldwide there is total uncertainty. We don't know what is going to happen to Greece, we don't know what is going to happen to Euro, we don't know what is going to happen to the US economy, Japan has been downgraded. In this situation our exports are down, dollar is up and industry is in a quandary as to what to do next. Coming to India, the situation seems to be getting even worse. I keep telling everybody, India stands for, starts with I and all our problems also seem to be starting with I. Our biggest problem is inflation. Inflation is already in double digits or close to double digits. And wage inflation is higher still, which is hurting industry even more. A wage industry, inflation of 10% will keep our industrialist friends today very very happy. The wage inflation is of the order of 15 to 20 percent in most cities. On the other hand interest rates are going through the roof. We seem to be having a real interest rates of 6 to 7 percent for industry which is totally unheard of especially when we have to compete against the world where the interest rates are zero or negative. So industry in India seems to be in a very very tough spot. And it is being reflected by the third eye, which is the industrial production, IIP numbers. And we seem to be in a negative territory there. For a country like India with a very, very low base and a huge amount of poverty, any industrial production less than 8 to 10 percent is actually a recipe for disaster. We would have today been in the midst of a civil war had it not been for the wage inflation. We are just lucky that at the lowest level there is a wage inflation and the people at the lowest level are being protected. But it is coming at a cost to industry, to industrial activity and industrial growth. Sir, on top of all the situations in, Andhra Pradesh, in India, in Andhra Pradesh we have a peculiar situation. We are even worse off. Last two years we are facing the uncertainty of the Telangana agitation and industry in Hyderabad has been hit continuously with, with buns, uncertainty, we don't know whether we'll be able to work continuously for the next month. And to top it all, last six months we have been having continuous power cut to an order of magnitude of 30 to 40 percent of power cut. 2008 we came to a similar situation where everything was bad. What was our policy response? Our policy response was the excise duty which was 16 percent in 2007 within a period of less than 14 per months was brought down to 8 percent to give us some fillip to industry. What was the other policy response? The interest rates which were around 10 percent was brought down to 6, 6 and a half percent. I still remember the days when LNT could raise finances at 5.5 percent. Today when I want to raise finances I have to pay more than 14 percent interest. I have to pay 12 percent excise duty. So, Somehow there is a policy mismatch in this country. We in India today have a manufacturing sector as a percentage of GDP which is 16 percent. The Prime Minister of India says 16 percent GDP uh, as a percentage of GDP for manufacturing is not enough. We should try and take it up to 25 percent. But what is happening is all our policy act actions like I mentioned earlier are only taking it backward. In fact, in our state, Andhra Pradesh, manufacturing is only 10 percent of the GDP, which is a very, very dismal picture for our state. In spite of that, in the latest budget, if you see, there was an increase of 2 percent in excise duty and 2 percent in service tax. Services today constitute 60 percent of our economy. And this 2 percent increase in either of these two areas led to an increase of 28,000 crores in excise duty and only 16,000 crores in service tax. Why should a sector which is one-fourth of the other sector pay so much more? That is a question which I feel should become a part of our national discourse and thinking.